Okay, we are on to page 11, page 11, and this is a simple pocket with a flap. You're going to start with a pocket that is four and a half by seven, and then you're gonna score half inch on three of the four sides and make this nice simple pocket, and it's going to get installed like so on the left-hand side of the page. Right. And then we have a simple flap that's five and a half by six. You're gonna score a half inch on the five and a half inch side. And it's gonna go flush with the right hand side. There we go, and then we're gonna use a magnet to hold it all together. I like to do a little reference line so I see how much space I have to work with. And then I also like to use my fat tape to cover the edge of the magnet so that um, it softens its edges all the way around. Okay, that's page 11. Okay, we're ready to start decorating page 11. Okay, I've got my papers pretty much lined up. I'm gonna start with I think I um, maybe it's this one. I was gonna say I think I've got them trimmed out. Yeah, this is the right one. Okay. Um patterns and solids. sip of coffee mm. I got this wonderful coffee machine for my husband for Christmas so I get to make myself all kinds of fancy coffees which is good and bad I like the taste of coffee so it's really easy for me to overdo it and then get jittery and it only takes whole beans and for some reason ever since the pandemic it's really hard to find whole bean decaf coffee that seems very strange to me, but that's at least I can't find it at Costco or my grocery store. I'm gonna have to do something mail order, I think. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna use this beautiful pattern to go here. But before I lay this down, I, I do need to, it's gonna be color block, so a strip of this is gonna go on this side. Let's go ahead and lay this down, and then we can plan this piece. I'm definitely gonna need to trim it, so I'm going to set that aside. I, I don't know why I try to use my nails. It's always a, it's always a mistake. And again, this is patterns and solids. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And again, we're on page 11.
Okay, now we're ready to do the, the little bit time consuming part, which is we're gonna trim out a strip to fit here. So I'm just gonna lay it in, I'm gonna mark it, and then trim it down. I think this is the right side. It's very difficult to tell, so you might you could probably lay it down either way. Let's see how we did, or how I did. That looks great. Just need to ink it and glue it down. Now I did mark both the top and the bottom because if this went in crooked, then this is my opportunity to sort of square up the, um, the border. Now I wanna make sure whichever way I put it in, it's yeah, the pattern continues. Okay, so this is the last piece. We don't really need to trim it because we can tuck in our excess into the pocket. Okay, so I did not ink it because I knew I was going to have to trim it. I'm going to leave my leading edge, uh, which is this side, bare, so I can slide it in the pocket easily without dragging glue around. Did I do that right? Yeah, I was just lining the pattern up to see if I actually, sometimes I'll accidentally turn it around. There we go, looks pretty darn good, doesn't it? These pink, uh, the pink and black just does something for me. I like it, it's very feminine, I like it. Okay, that's page 11. So I had mentioned on page two, and I'm gonna do the same thing here too, and I'm just gonna put a placeholder in here. Um, I've, we're going to have uh, ephemera cards in the pocket, um, and the ephemera cards are four by six, so they're gonna slip into um, the pocket. I haven't picked out which ones are gonna go with which pages yet. And then if I have enough paper left over, I'm gonna do a five by seven insert here also. So I'd have two inserts, the ephemera card, and then um, a five by seven photo mat. So we'll see. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough paper, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So that's it for now.